Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Rama Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Krishna, my dear Prabhus, dear Matajis, good morning. Thank you for joining our morning japa session. Please continue to finish your rounds today and be Krishna conscious. And of course, read Srila Prabhupada books. Good morning, Charles Prabhu, Riza Mataji, Trina Mataji, Roli Prabhu, Jonah Mataji. Hello, good morning. Of course, Navadip Chan Prabhu and Radhilat Prabhu will be here in a while. So first, you know the drill. We should be always in the right mood, in the mood of request, in the mood of humility. So join me as we recite the invocation mantras. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskritya Narancaiva Narotamam Devim Sarasvatim Vyasam Tato Jayam Udhirayet Nasta Preyashu Abhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttamas Loke Bhaktir Bhavati Naistiki Good morning, Hare Krishna. Hello, Namadip Chandra Prabhu and Radhanath Prabhu. Hare Krishna, my dear Prabhus. Hare Krishna, good morning. <laughs> And yes, previously, sobrang maganda... Oh, what if? <laughs> yeah, previously, napaganda yung mga nangyayari kasi may action na naman after ng drama. Ito na naman yung action. The Brahmaster is coming and hunting down si King Parksit sa chan ni Mother Uttara. Kasi siya na lang yung last um, na na male na pwede magmana ng emperorship. And ito yung huling banat ni Ashvatam. But still, Lord Krishna, the protector of the devotees, protected not just um, King Pariksit in the womb, but also all the Kuru in that Kuru dynasty. And while leaving si Krishna, papunta na siya ulit sa Dwarka. Ang tagal lang niya kasama yung mga Pandavas after ng, before ng war, after ng war, after ng grieving nila. Pabalik na siya ng Dwarka. Si um, uh, Kunti lumapit sa kanya. And out of um, gratitude and also out of love, she was praying. And sino ba una sa atin? Ayan, yan, yan. <laughs> My dear Prabhus, carry on. Hare Krishna, good morning everybody. So nice to be here with you once again for this reading of Srimad Bhagavatam. Having your wonderful association. So yes, yeah, so we'll read the uh, text number 18. I believe I will read 18, 19, and 20. So we'll read the translation. We'll go over the translation first and then we'll try to discuss some few points 
each and every i believe yung mga tech yung mga texts ang haba ng mga purpose niya so maganda ibig sabihin marami tayong matutunan kay Sheila Papad <laughs> text number 18 <coughs> kunti vacha namasye purusham twadyam ishwaram prakrite param laksyam sarva bhutanam antar bahir avastitam translation shumati kunti said O Krishna, I offer my obeisances unto you because you are the original personality and are unaffected by the qualities of the material world. You are existing both within and without everything, yet you are invisible to all. Text number 19. Being beyond the range of limited sense perception, you are the eternally irreproachable factor Covered by the curtain of deluding energy, you are invisible to the foolish observer, exactly as an actor dressed as a player is not recognized. You yourself descend to propagate the transcendental science of devotional service unto the hearts of the advanced transcendentalists and mental speculators who are purified by being able to discriminate between matter and spirit. How then can we women know you perfectly? Chai. So, again, you know, makikita natin yung pattern, no? Kinaglorify muna si Krishna bago sila may mga questions. And in this case, yun nga, mag-start na rito yung mga prayers ni Queen Kunti. Of course, as uh, maybe previously uh, explained, Queen Kunti is the uh, beloved mother of the five Pandavas. And... She is the uh, so grandmother na siya no. Magiging grandmother siya ni Maharaj Parikshit. So Queen Kunti of course um, is not an ordinary personality again. Yung mga women na dinidescribe natin dito sa sa ano sa mga verses or chapters ng Bhagavatam na binabasa natin ngayon, they are really very strong, very dedicated, very much surrendered souls kay Krishna. Pag-usapan natin si Ma- Draupadi, Mother Draupadi. And now, pinag-usapan natin yung the mother of the Pandavas, si Queen Kunti. So, they are not very, they are not ordinary persons. But in these uh, texts, we will learn that actually they are acting on our behalf. <laughs> they know the position of Lord Krishna. Right? Specifically in this uh, verse, si Queen Kunti. As well, Prabhupada is explaining. She knows. She knows the uh, actual position of Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna being their supreme Lord, their supreme friend, their supreme protector. Um, lahat, lahat na. Alam niya yun. Alam niya yun. Alam ni Queen Kunti yun. And parang medyo awkward lang tignan para sa mga mata natin. Kasi ano niya nga yun eh. Un- eh well, pamangkin niya si Krishna eh. Tama ba? Pamangkin niya, no? Tapos parang nagpipasya ng obeisances kay Krishna. So parang yung auntie, di ba parang nagbibigay ng galang sa kanyang uh, pamangkin. Parang awkward tignan, di ba? Pero hindi eh. Kasi nga, yun. Um, Queen Kunti knows the actual position of Krishna. And sabi ni Shailar Prabhupada, uh, Queen Kunti is not wrong uh, for doing this because of that nature. The nature of Krishna's position and the, the nature of her position as you know a surrendered soul fully devoted to lord krishna so shila pa si shila pa pa sa purport niya ni explain niya yung actual position ni krishna na yun nga you're within and without you are uh, unaffected you know um you're the supreme controller parang ganun so pi- nire-remind tayo ni queen kunti and how to approach the lord and what is the actual position of the lord kasi pag-usapan natin dito in the future yung mga mga wonderful prayers niya because uh, may gusto siyang i-point out eh may gusto siyang i-point out sa sitwasyon nila pero mababasahin natin in the future specifically sa text number 19 wait sa text number 19 or sa 20 yung sa tanong ni Queen Kunti how can we women know you perfectly explanation, Srila Prabhupada, I was again hearing from Srila Prabhupada this morning. 
na yung position nga ni Queen Kunti being the women and then supposedly very simple and in the Vedic times uh, they are not uh, parang sa modern day ngayon na uh, lahat ng aspect ng ng mga uh, activities is nagagawa dati women are very simple they are trained to be good uh, I mean uh, surrendered daughter uh, very much dependent to the father and then eventually they become a good they are trained to become a chaste wife um, so like this yung mga motherly qualities and nature talagang very strongly um, tra- uh, trained sila dun so parang tatanong siya pero actually yun nga we have to we have to understand that she is not an ordinary person she's acting on our behalf di ba or di ba so parang how can we women kasi din is kay Bishila Prophet na even si Krishna y- yung nag-appear siya dito sa 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 atin for wonderful pastimes um even sa mga great philosophers din is kay Bishila Prophet yung mga paramahamsas or the, those who are highly qualified great personalities or sa mga munis Uh, parang sila lang yung sila yung ano eh sila yung mas pwedeng mas makaintindi sa yo kasi nag nag pinag-aaralan kanila pinag-isipan kanila masyado pero how can we women simple women can understand you actually binanggit ni Sheila Prapa dito sa ano sa purport niya sa text number 20 yung yung advantage nila being simple women sabi nga rin sa devotional service it is simple for the simple actually and um Queen Kunti's position, she is yes, again um, asking on her behalf, how can we understand you, we women? So, Srila Prabhupada is nicely explaining that yun nga. Hindi siya, ano, hindi siya, kasi ang, ang general understanding nga natin sa devotional service or, or we, how we approach Krishna is that it's not by, it's not by any other of those qualifications, whether you're a, a man, you're a woman, you're a um, highly qualified, highly intelligent. No, it's not by the, any of those things. It's simply by one's devotion. And yung nature ng women are very simple and uh, very much surrendered lang. Y- yun yung tawag na chastity nila. Yun yung advantage nila sa devotional service that they immediately just accept. Wala nang paligoy-ligoy pa na yung ibang mga brahmanas and ibang mga great philosophers. Marami pang itatanong, marami pang kailangan i-proof So in in explain actually ni Shilpa pwede ding advance yung ad, advantage nung pagiging simple minded. Um so such is ano such is an advantage sa devotional service yung ano yung 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 pagiging simple. And actually that's also a sign of humility. Nasabi ni Shilpa pa very very uh, important sa process ng devotional service or Krishna consciousness. It's so important that even Lord Chaitanya himself, sa instruction niya sa kanyang six shashtakams or yung eight wonderful uh, glorifications or prayers or instructions on how we can become Krishna conscious or to 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 um, be fully surrendered to Krishna. Sabi niya, this humility is very important. Yep, that's it. Now with the Chandra Prabhu, we're next. Hare Krishna, good morning. So, um, gusto ko lang i, ano, gusto ko lang mag-add ng konti doon sa ano ni Radha Nath Prabhu. Yung sab- <clears throat> sabi nga niya, how will women who are not great philosophers know you? Does Kunti teach us a proper mentality required when approaching Krishna? One must feel humility. Material strength, beauty, intelligence, and assorted other good qualities remain insufficient asset when one tries to know the Lord. So, yun nga eh. Katulad ng sinabi ni Raghunat Prabhu na ano, um, kahit ano pa yung mga good qualities natin, with, pa, pero pag wala yung devotion, o ma- ma ano yun, humility also and devotion is next is uh, hindi talaga yun yung 
qualification nung ano. Hindi yun yung qualification ng to approach Krishna na ah, ako ah, matalino ako masyado ah, masyado ah, I have a good birth and all. Pero ang tanong yung next ano nga ba yung qualification? So ito na. Text 21. Let me offer I respectful obeisances unto Lord unto Lord who has become the son of Vasudev the pleasure of Devaki, the boy of Nanda and other cowherd men of Vrindavan, and the en- enlivener of the cows and the senses. Sa Sanskrit, Krishnaya Vasudevaya Devaki Nanda Nayasya Nanda Gopa Kumaraya Gopindaya Namonama Habang nabasa ko to, gulat ako kasi may ano to eh. Yung nagulat ako kasi nadaanan natin. May kanta to eh. Kanta ni, ano, ni, sino to? Si Karnam Rita, The Prayers sample. by Women. Sample? <laughs> ah, ito. Sige, sample natin. Subukan natin. So yan. Handa. Isisend natin yung link. <laughs> Isisend natin yung link sa inyo mamaya. Uh, at least meron na kayong alam na isang bagawatam na verse, di ba? Kakantahin nyo na. May sa ulado na tayo. So, yun nga. Ang tanong, bakit lumabas tong mga mga names na to? Biglang nagpe-prayer, sabi biglang lumalabas yung name na uh, kay Devaki and Vasudev and uh, Nanda Kumar sa Brindavan. Because yun nga, ito na yung tanong, ito na yung sagot sa tanong na kung titignan natin, itong mga great personality na to is ano ba yung mood nila sa ano sa sa pag-approach kay Krishna sa Guloka Vrindavan which is hindi lang pala as a servant or ano is pwede ka rin maging parents ito si ano si sabi nga niya a respectful obeisance unto Lord who has become the son of Vasudev So, pwede ka rin maging parents ni Krishna. Like Vasudev. Or yung mood. Kung hindi ka man maging parents, yung mood. The pleasure of Devaki. And the boy of Nanda. And the uh, other cowherd men in Brindavan. So, yung, yung, yung mood ng mga cowherd boys and gopis in Brindavan is, sabi nga, they're, wala silang ano kumbaga uh, they don't have anything but Krishna. Ang point diyan is si Krishna nga is uh, ano ba 'yon? Si, si yung mga devotee niya is ang ang number one is si Krishna and ganun din si Krishna sa mga devotee niya. So sabi nga dito, Kunti, De- Kunti Devi's next prayer, which names Krishna in relationship to many of his beloved devotees, of- offers hope to women and everyone else by hinting the answers to her question. Kaya yun yung unang sinabi niyang prayers. Krishna's devotees are especially dear to him. Indeed, in his most intimate names are those that indicate with dealings his dealings with his devotee when krishna is called by one of those names he remembers himself in relation to the particular devotee connected with that name and his heart melts so that's devotees that's devotees pray to krishna by those names to invoke compassion from 
he's already soft and hard because his quality is Bhakta Bhatsalya or lover of his devotee. May he be known by his own grace. So, yun. And then, 22 is, uh, my respectful obeisances unto you, O Lord, whose abdomen is marked with depre depression like a lotus flower, who are always decorated with garlands of lotus, lotus flowers, whose glance is as cool as lotus and whose feet are engraved with lotuses. Nung nabasa ko to, naguguluhan na naman ako. Ba't bigla na nang kalina, may nanda ko mark, at tas may ganun, tapos biglang ngayon may lotus na. Anong kinalaman ba nun talaga? Kasi nga, itong material world is like a forest fire burning through this material materialism and all. But sabi nga dito ni I, uh, Queen Kunti, whose glance is as cool as the lotus. And alam naman natin yung, yung characteristic ng lotus flower. Di ba nga, sa, sabi sa si Krishna is never never a step hindi siya nag-step out ng Brindaban. Pero may time na may past time siya dito sa earth or <clears throat> dito nga sa material world. Pero actually, yung karakteristik ng lotus is akala natin na nandurun siya sa tubig pero wala siya sa tubig kasi merong thin wax yun na hindi nakokontaminate yung lotus or uh, na, naka ano lang, naka uh, nakapatong lang yung lo, yung tubig doon never siyang nag-absorb ng anything so ganun din si Krishna kala natin andito sa material world nagpe-perform ng pastime and kala natin subjected din siya dito sa material world and all pero it's not actually hindi nga kumbaga ganun sa thin line na yun hindi nga nagta-touch yung lotus feet niya sa ano sa sa earth um sobrang uh, transcendental nga na never siyang nagtouch sa earth. Kumbaga parang uh, andito siya pero wala siya dito. Nandurong siya sa Brindavan. So ganun siya na uh, ano yun? Omniscient. So kumbaga um, ang main point is always his heart with his devotee. Yun. So ang um, Kaya nga, never, never na by just our so-called good qualities is ma, kumbaga, ma-attract natin siya. But only, lahat ng good qualities na yon ilagay natin yung bhakti or devotion. Yung good qualities na yon pwedeng gamitin dun sa devotion, devotional service. And number one, sabi nga, the, the mother of good quality, sabi nga nun. Uh, the mother of good quality. Sa, kasi the pride is, ano yun? The pride is the mother of sin, parang ganun, di ba? <clears throat> but actually, opposite nun, the mother of, of good qualities is humility. Isa lang ang i-try natin i-perform or i-develop one good quality is uh, the humility. And that humility, lahat na ng good quality, sunod-sunod na yun, papasok na. Kumbaga, sa, sa architecture, is um, yung, yung may kita nyo sa shower, sa bathroom, yung downspout doon, kung saan pumupunta yung mga tubig. Uh, if we try to low, not not low our personality, but if if it try to low in our, um, ayan, if we try to become humble, lower than the blade of grass, lahat ng tubig pupunta doon. Meaning lahat ng mercy pupunta doon. 
you will be a uh, best recipient of mercy if you are if we are trying to be humble enough in up, to approach krishna so yun. thank you very much favorite ko yung lagi mong sample na down spot na yan uh, naganda ka nung ano ah, kantan <laughs> nagpapakant nagpapakanta kasi ng students eh <laughs> Para hindi ka kumanta, naghanda ka ng song. Anyway, ang ganda ng mga sharing nila, Prabhus. Um, in continuation, I'll gonna make it short para ma-focus natin yung the last three verse for today. Sobrang importante, sobrang ganda nun. Text number 20, um, where am I? 23. O Rishikesh, master of the senses and lord of lords, you have released your mother, Devaki, who was long imprisoned and distressed by the envious King Kamsa, and me, and my children, from a series of constant dangers. So, may mga sample na dito, paano nagsimula and yung birth ni Krishna. Yung supposedly or um, uh, biological na parents ni Krishna is si Devaki and si Vashudev. Alam niyo ba na si Krishna pinanganak sa prison house? When um, his parents was um, after nung um, kasal nila, ang nag-drive ng chariot nung sa kasal is si Kamsa, kapatid siya ni Devaki. So, tito niya yun. The only thing is, si Kamsa is demoniac. Sipin mo lapit na relative ni Krishna, di ba? Tito niya. Tito King Kamsa is demoniac. And while doing that, while um, driving a chariot, may voice na nagsabi. Hindi uh, di mo ba alam, Kamsa? Yung eight child na pinag-drive mo na kapatid mo, yung eight child na yan, yung papatay sa'yo. Yung voice na naraw yun ay si, ano, si Narada Muni. So, from inaral natin yung buhay ni Narada Muni, previous ibang yugas yun. And in different yugas, di ba, time traveler nga siya. Saka siya yung in all the space napunta siya. So, nagparamdam siya rito. Just to instigate yung pasen ni Krishna. So, what Kamsa did, kahit kapatid niya yun, kahit bagong kasal sila, he imprisoned them. And um, lahat ng magiging anak nila is uh, papatay ni Kamsa. And which he did. Except for the eight child, si Krishna. <laughs> Pero si sabi ni Kunti sa akin, yung mga anak ko was in danger for a couple of times. Hindi lang ilang beses. Madaming beses. You save them. Sabi nga, mas favorable nga daw si Krishna kay Quint Kunti kaysa sa nanay niya. Eh. Kasi, of course, in that past time, he wasn't, um, he did not yet descend. Yung ibang anak ni um, Devaki, yung mga pang- mas panganay sa kanya, he wasn't able to um, save. Pero si Kunti, lahat ng anak niya palaging sinasave ni Krishna. And sa text number 24, um, it was mentioned, My dear Krishna, your lordship has protected us from a poison cake, from great fire, from a great fire, from cannibals, from the vicious assembly, for, from suffering during our exile in the forest and from the battle where great generals fought and you know and now you have saved us from the weapon of Ashvatam so this it was mentioned yung mga aggressor yung mga types ng aggressive activities na ginagawa ng tao na subjected actually nga to sa death penalty in the scriptures kapag ginawa nila to and lahat yun naran- naranasan ng Pandavas. And sabi nga, pag nasaktan yung anak, mas nasaktan yung nanay or yung tatay. Imagine yung pain palagi ni Queen Kunti while receiving this. Hindi sa ibang tao, ah. It was arranged by yung mga kamag-anak din nila. Which is sila Doryudan yun. Yung mga kapatid ni Doryudan. And yung ibang kamag-anak. Very close and much more painful. And those experiences, si Krishna... Hindi umalis. Laging ando lang sa kanila. Laging sinasave sila. And this build up 
builds up the um, one of the most important um, verse in the prayers of Queen Kunti. This uh, actually uh, prayer is um, like a guide para sa devotee how they could pray. Pero this is so powerful. This is um, mostly quoted by a lot of um, um, teachers in teaching this um, back to yoga and these scriptures. As well as it is the if parang if it to mean a prayer. And this text number 25 will be discussed by Rajat Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Text number 25. Vipada Santuta Sasvat Tatra Tatra Jagad Guru Babato Darshanam Yatsyad Apunar Bhava Darshanam Translation I wish that all those calamities would happen again and again so that we could see you again and again. For seeing you means that we will no longer see repeated births and deaths. So, uh, this is a very interesting ano, uh, text, very interesting verse. Kasi, um, tinatalakay dito yung ano, how one sees danger or calamities in life. Um, Siyempre, alam naman natin pag yung mga dangers and calamities in life dumarating. If one is not um, strong enough, not even to speak of spiritually strong enough, can be shaken, eh, di ba? Um, Ma-apektuan masyado, or um, some, unfortunately, hindi nakaka-survive. So, dinescribe ni Shil Prabhupada kasi yung nature ng material world is that, eh, there's danger in every step. That's, that is the nature of this material world. It's not, it's not false. That is real. Material, material world is real. And it's real because we can feel that the effects of this material world are there. Danger at every step. Calamities. Especially dito sa Pilipinas, dami natin calamities dito in terms of uh, bagyo and uh, mga matinding init. Ngayon, yung buong mundo nakakaranas ng matinding pandemic. So, sabi niya siya, Papa, very foolish talaga eh, that people uh, ang 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 business ng mga materialistic people is to try to to make a way para mawala yung mga danger na yon para para ma-mitigate daw yung mga dangers na yon and think na alam mo yun wala naman talagang danger let's just be happy <laughs> so parang um, they are trying to ano parang falsely claim that this material world is parang ganun lang. Uh, let's uh, eat, drink, and be merry. Uh, that is the, ano, the most unfortunate situation ng isang tao na pwedeng mapunta na uh, dini-deny that this um, nature of this material world is full of calamities. But Sir Papa goes to explain na uh, for a devotee, he sees it in a different way. Even di ba ngayon sa mga napapanood natin or pwede nating nadaanan ng mga life coaches or um, just speeches, you know, uh, they need na papag-usapan nila yung how we can turn some negative situation or some unfortunate situation in our advantage. Parang gano, how to turn it over instead na para maging problema mo lang siya, pwede mo siyang maging uh, source of strength. So yung nangyayari dito is describe ni Shila Prabhupada. How of your devotee uh, sees all these calamities? Of course, uh, to be <laughs> become a pure devotee and to have that kind of uh, mentality towards these, you know, uh, challenges in life takes a lot of, you know, takes a lot of practice and dedication and surrender, surrendered um, attitude towards the Lord and His plans. Niwa, hindi madali lang sabihin. Pero actually, mahirap yung sa puso and most of the time, mahirap gawin. Pero that is our aspiration. We should learn from these wonderful devotees of Krishna, wonderful examples. Nasabi ni Queen, Queen Kunti, di ba? Let it come. Let it come. Because if if in that uh, position, I can see you, then I'm saved. Kasi hindi pa natin madideny. Sinasabi nga niya sila, Papad, kanina sa lecture niya. 
So even the devotees, pag nakakaranas sila ng, ano, ng mga ganong klaseng calamities, actually, sabi nga, ano eh, mas matindi pa dapat daw yung pagdaanan natin dun eh, or pinagdaanan natin dun eh. Pero may promise si Krishna that um, my devotees will never perish, parang ganun. So actually, pag naging devotee na tayo, meron pa rin tayong mga kailangan pagdaanan. Pero si Krishna, may favor na sa'yo agad. Na sabi nga, instead of, sabi niya, Pada, binigay, binigay na example is, may, ang, pwedeng, ang pwedeng mangyari sana is kung masaksak ka and then namatay ka. Pag devotee ka na, maaring ang makuha mo na lang is mahiwa ka raw ng konti sa daliri mo habang nag, ano, kakat ka ng fruits para sa kanya. So parang din is kayo niya, Pada, ganun, that Krishna takes care of his devotees. So anyway, um, ang ang point ni Queen Kunti is let this let this ano calamities come time and time again, di ba? Kasi if, if 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 that makes me remember you, then ano parang safe na nasa safe position na siya. Kasi ang sinasabi nila pa pa ang um, the best ang ano eh, ang um, real problem is that yung uh, re- repetition of birth and death. Sabi nila pa what is the point of ano um, mitigating all this calamities and dangers in life kung hindi natin masasolve yung actual problem, the, the ultimate problem which is repeated birth and death babalik at babalik pa rin tayo dito sa material world and still suffering will be there so let us ano, let us see from these examples that this, this um, mentality of devotees uh, in, this, in this particular pastime, si Queen Kunti she, she prays that you know, let it come <laughs> because I can Um, I can remember you in this way. So, syempre, parang tayo, <laughs> ang hirap naman yata, no? kung, kung ma-experience natin masyado, baka hindi pa tayo too strong. But we pray, we pray that, uh, sabi niya siya, Papad, when this happens to us, the devotee actually thinks that this is his ano, chance to think more uh, uh, of Krishna. Because ultimately, Krishna is our only uh, source of refuge of uh, strength and safety. So we pray, we pray to these wonderful personalities and we learn from them how we how we approach these um, tragedies, calamities in life. And we must not forget the real calamities life is this repetition of birth and death. So let us all become you know, devotees of Krishna. Ayan, galing ng mga sharing ni Raghana Prabhu which is it will lead us to the text 26 which is sabi niya dito 26 my lord your lordship can easily be approached but only by those who are materially exhausted. One who is on the path of material progress, trying to improve himself with respectable percentage, great opulence, high education, and bodily beauty, cannot, cannot approach you with sincere feeling. Hare Krishna. Ano na yun? Lahat pa naman tayo, yun yung mga gustong traits and all. Eh, wala na. Eh, kiss na tayo. <laughs> Pero anyway, there's hope. But wait, there's hope. So sabi nga, how wonderful Krishna's actual association must be. Um, I'm, I'm referring to uh, un- unveiling Lotus Pita. Baka hanapin niyo sa mga book niyo. Pero ito. How wonderful Krishna's actual association must be. His association deems the value of peace, fails the worth of material security, and nullifies what most people consider the goal. Life without anxiety. Hearing Kunti Devi's words should spark one's desire to attain Krishna's association by becoming his devotee how come how can one approach the lotus like lord mga parang hirap nga ma-approach dahil lotus like eh. 
na yung hindi na na naglalapag sa material world. Kunti Davis affection affectionate words describe the price of approaching him. Yung price is my lord your lordship can easily be easily be approached but only who's by those who's who are materially exhausted. Totoo nga naman. Pag gusto na pag gusto ni Krishna na meron siyang ibigay sa atin. Kailangan yung hawak mo bago mo kumuha ng bago, bitawan mo. So bibitawan ko to, materiality and then hawakan ko yung which is yung uh, spirituality or yun kasi attached nga tayo dito eh attached tayo sa material world we want uh, instant happiness kung ano yung nakikita natin sa sa harap natin ito na yun ito na yung gusto ko pero um, para yun nga para ma uh, hindi 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 nga yun yung yung goal natin is to have that material beauty uh, great opulence education because um dito lang yun sa material world eh. of course meron sa spiritual pero as long as attached tayo to our bodily features yung mga achievement natin is mahirap tayong maka-approach kay Krishna. Alam mo na na alam niya na naalala ko yung yung sa office ng tatay ko. Glass 'yon. So sa, sa ilalim meron siyang naka-coach doon eh. Nakalagay doon. It's hard to be ano yan? It's hard to be humble when you achieve something. Yun yung nakalagay doon. Tinandaan ko yun. Lagi nanduron yun. Hindi niya tinatanggal. Patagal na nanduron. Which is true. Which is true. It's hard to be humble when you, when you achieve something. And paano nga naman sab, sabi nga dito, um, cannot approach you with sincere desire. Yung, yung may mga ganong opulence na high, high education, high birth, uh, bodily beauty, yan opulence sabi nga uh, kumbaga uh, yung yung mga sabi nga ng paano ba to yung mayaman is uh, parang never sila magkakaroon ng sincere prayer kasi because they have they have already but yung sinabi ni Queen Kunti na medyo mahirap nga din para sa atin is nagkakaroon lang tayo ng, ng sincere prayer most of the time when we are in danger, when we are exhausted, when, when we need something for Krishna or for the higher. Which is true. And paano nga, ang, ang, kumbaga, uh, ang hirap, ma, kunyari, nagsasaya ka sa beach. Ang, ang ang tutok mo lang is masaya sa 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 ocean, sa beach and all uh, with with fun, games and all. Ang hirap maiisip doon si Krishna actually or si God. Yes, una una mag mag magaano kayo? Magdadasal kayo nasa harap ng hapagkainan. Uh bless us all Lord for the food that we have just received from your bounty to Christ our Lord. So, ilang by by words of mouth maybe or and i'm thankful if someone puts that in in the heart na thank you lord sa mga biyayang ito yes thank you pero after that then what so but as we're trying to trying hard to be krishna conscious all the time in whatever situation it may be either in good terms or in happy terms or in uh how to say in distress yun yung sinasabi dito pero yun yung sinasabi dito ni Queen Kunti na i wish all that those calamities who happen again and again so that he would see you again and again 
for seeing you means that we will no longer see repeated birth and death. Kaya nabanggit ni Queen Kunti sa text 25. And then sinabi niya rin na ito yung isang way para yung sa text 26 is those who are materially exhausted can approach you. Because uh, kung di talaga natin alam, this, this material world is undesirable place. Konting galaw mo, may masakit. Uh, nagbabad ka sa beach, na sunburn ka na. Yung source ng happiness mo, source din ng distress mo. Kumain ka ng marami, ayan, naimpacho ka, tumakit lang dyan. Kumain ka ng marami, ayan, kailangan mo mag-yoga ng matindi para ma-burn lang yung mga yon. So, same. So, we have to realize what, uh, how we try to become happy in such a way na eternal happiness yung ano natin, yung approach natin, which is i-approach natin si Krishna in a favorable way, in a favorable attitude, in a humble attitude. And then try to please Krishna by trying to please his devotees. Okay. Wonderful um, wisdom. And sobrang ano yan eh. Sobrang nakaka-touch yung ganung classing prayer and ganung sharing sabi ni Navadip Chandra Prabhu na. We may be in different positions in our lives. Pero totoo Totoo na kapag nandun tayo sa masayang moment. Um, ako, like, when, especially when I was younger, ang hirap nga naman, ang hirap to pray. Diba? Pero mas madali magdasal, mag, mas madali mag-connect kay Krishna to the Supreme. Kapag we're in a situation na medyo, uh, hindi ko kaya i-handle to, ah. Nare-remind tayo na hindi tayo yung doer, hindi tayo yung controller. In that situation, oh nga pala, Krishna. <laughs> Ikaw nga pala yung supreme control. All of this is actually, you know, not a blade of grass moves without Krishna's sanction. Sabi nga yung goal of life, hindi naman to achieve yung mga high features na mga um, success na pwede natin i-define as success, especially materially. Pero the goal of life is, in whichever situation, good times, hard times, o kaya broken-hearted ka o masaya ka, in love ka. Ang tanong, sino yung naalala mo? Naalala mo ba si Krishna? And in the prayer of Queen Kunti, sobrang, ano, sobrang um, ideal in that mood. And sabi nga, hindi siya birong babae, sabi ni Radha Prabhu. Aside from all these um, qualities, yung mga kamag-anak niya, kamag-anak ka si Krishna, hindi biro mapunta ka sa level na yon At the same time, queen siya. <laughs> so, nasa, ha, ano siya, nasa position siya na ganun. Queen siya, kaya queen kunti. Pero, tingnan mo yung prayer niya. Yung ibang tao would be allured or illusion or intoxicated by power, by material things. Pero, very surrendered siya kay Krishna. Kaya palaging king, queen, ganun yung mga... Um, sa, mga saintly kings, sila yung mga um, stories natin sa Srimad Bhagavatam. Sila yung nasa matataas na situation, but still, we could learn na makaka-relate tayo sa kanila. And yes, sobra importante yung to be able to start yung um, spiritual life, we should be, or we could be in the position na we are materially exhausted. Alam mo yun, sometimes, natry mo na. Natry mo to, um, you have this material things, this relationship, or madami ka naramdaman na kala mo ito yung goal. Pero parang, wala, hindi pa rin eh. You're exhausted to try these things. And um, nawawala na ng option. Wala ka ng option na wala si Krishna talaga yung source of happiness. No, inaharap ng lahat ng tao. And that um, goes to the text number 27. Sabi ni Queen Kunti, may obeisances aren't to you. Who? are the property of the materially improver, improver, intro, impoverished. You have nothing to do with the actions and reactions of the modes of nature. You are self-satisfied and therefore, you are the most gentle and 
our master of bonus. Sobrang importante itong verse din na to kasi it was mentioned na yung coin din term na namo at kinsya na vita ya. A kinsya na is actually um, meaning non unalloyed devotee. Unalloyed back, back ta. No mixture of anything else. Purely yung love niya kay Krishna nandun. Pero yung ibig sabihin nung a kinsya na vita ya, it is a place. He is a poor man. Pero dun daw nakareside yung prema, yung love kay Krishna. It doesn't mean poor siya na materially. Si, Qu- si Queen Kunti, Queen siya. <laughs> Pero poor siya materially kasi hindi siya attached sa mga material na bagay. In that way, dun nakareside yung prema, yung love kay Krishna. Kung si- ano yung desire ng isang tao. Ni Virta Guna, Virta Ye. Guna is the modes of material nature. Hindi siya affected nun. And si Krishna, actually, hindi rin affected nung three modes of material nature. They're under different realm, yung relationship niya kay Krishna. And he was also glorifying Krishna. He's the self-satisfied. At the same time, yung devotee na yon is self-satisfied kasi he has that um, unalloyed, undisturbed, very focused si Krishna yung goal niya. Ganon, ganon yung relationship kay Krishna ng isang um, devotee. Kaya even mayro siya maramdaman na happiness or even distress, hindi siya nabibewildered. Yung love, yung faith niya kay Krishna, hindi siya mabibewildered. Unalloyed. Walang halo. Unalloy. This one, may example na binigay si Shira Prabhupada. In our um, six Goswamis, actually sila su- ru- um Um, Saratan Goswami, Rupa Goswami, they're actually um, in the high position ng society. If i-convert mo nga raw ngayon dito yon is billion, billionaires in dollars. Ganun yung position nila. Tapos si Raghunath Das Goswami, anak sa ng sobrang yaman din. Pero they're not satisfied. They know the purpose of life. Hindi lang din yun yung goal. They did not um, just shy away from it. Pero they use yung materially na uh, facilities nila, material facilities nila in the service for Krishna. But they're at, not attached. There was an example, um, a story kay Sanat ng Goswami where um, he was meditating. And may um, isang tao that are looking for material opulence. He is trying to ask si Sanat ng Goswami, a saintly person, for this kind of um, hankering niya. And nakita nung person na yon na merong touchstone si Sanat ng Goswami dun sa pile of um, unwanted things or yung mga hindi importanteng bagay sa stock room, sa labas lang. This touchstone, kung saan mo daw idikit yung touchstone na yon magiging gold. And nagkataka yung taong to, trinayin niya, oh, effective niya. Pero bakit nandito sa pile of um, parang trash lang? Ano ba yung pinaka-importante sa kanya? So, nagtaka na siya and in-approach niya si Sanatan Goswami. If this touchstone is not that important to you kasi kung saan lang, lang siya nakalagay, ano yung mas importante sa'yo? Sabi ni Sanatan Goswami, okay, I'll tell you what it is. But you have to throw that touchstone sa river. So may ganong condition si Sanatan Goswami. Then this um, person, well, alam niya kung anong purpose na ito, pero nakalagay lang doon, baka may mas importante pa, which is ayun yung hinalap niya talaga. So he have to be um, detached with it, binato niya sa river. Then Sanatan Goswami explained to him the purpose of life, the relationship of one soul to the Supreme And how to connect to the Supreme is by chanting of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Sabri Sarat ng Goswami, that is the real treasure. Kasi these are temporary. He is materially poor because hindi siya attached doon, pero ang 
number one na possession ng isang devotee is si Krishna. Possession niya si Krishna. Siya may ari kay Krishna. Imagine yung status niya. And yung, si Krishna, siya rin may ari ng devotee. Ganun yung relationship nila. And walang ma-offer na iba. Kahit sana itong Goswami, ganun din. Hindi niya ma-offer yung material things sa ibang tao. He knows, a uh, sainty person knows para saan. And hindi rin importante sa kanya. Ma-offer niya yung sobrang importante sa kanya. Which is si Krishna. And siya lang yung pagmamayari niya. Sir sure, Prabhupad mentioned here, The devotees are generally without material pro- prosperity, but they have a very secret treasure house in the lotus feet of the Lord. Ito yung meron siya. And ito lang yung pwede niya ibigay. And ito rin yung pinaka-importanting bagay. Importanting um, um, na hinaharap ng mga tao. Which is yung connection kay Krishna. Kasi minsan, yung goal ng tao, yung desire niya for material hankering, eto yung nagiging stumbling block niya para sa spiritual life. Ito yung nakakaligaw ng focus niya, ng desire niya. Does it mean we have to be um, beggars na iwanan natin lahat? We can use it. Pero ang question na lang, ano yung desire? Ano yung hankering mo? And si Queen Kunti is in, the, in this position. Even given all the facilities, si Krishna yung goal niya. Sabi Prabhupada, because the Lord is a property of the devotees and the devotees are the property of the Lord, reciprocally, si Krishna nag-reciprocate sa devotees na yon. And that is the highest position that one could be in this um, life. Now, he owns Krishna because of his unalloyed love and Krishna owns that person as well. And in that way, um, the goal of life, the real happiness is there. Ang, ang daming pwedeng mangyari, ang daming pwedeng situation. Even yung example kay Quint Kunti, ang daming pwedeng um, kaganapan. Pero a devotee knows ano yung importante, ano yung totoong touchstone, ano yung totoong treasure. I think Sir Radhat Prabhu could share something with this. touchstone no parang only a uh, only a fool would ano uh, would uh, refuse <laughs> primo nandun na yung touchstone touchstone pag tinouch mo sa anything pa- para specifically any metal eh para noon giging gold tindi noon ang hirap ang hirap i-detach noon kung nandun ka sa position na ganun actually yun yung isang isang ano eh mas mahirap pa for me ah personally for me na parang mas ma like din discuss na rin na with the channel primo mas mahirap talagang ano eh. <laughs> yung, yung pag nasa position ka na parang happy ka or feeling mo you, you have everything. Talagang mahirap yung ganun position eh. That's why in summary, si, yung prayers ni Queen Kunti, specifically yung text na ba yun? Yung isang text na parang those false shelter na parang high birth, uh, wealth, uh, bodily beauties. Ano siya eh? Disadvantage nga siya pagdating sa path of bhakti because um, one can falsely ano, um, hold on to that as their shelter kasi mahirap i-give up pag yung isang tao nakakuha ng magandang bodily features and para example ngayon diba, parang naging models or very uh, famous um, you can say model or isang taong may matakas na intelligence you know, yun naman inaano si Elon Musk, pero si Elon Musk, di ba, so intelligent, so intellectual, dami achievements, you know, dami gustong gawin. Imagine mag-preach ka ng Krishna consciousness sa kanya, parang mahirap yata i-give up. <laughs> mga, mga ganung bagay. Kasi, naging ano man na siya, naging, naging source of ano man na siya, shelter, di ba, parang, nakakapit ka dun eh. Kaya pag nakakapit, pag bumitaw ka, Diba? Parang mahirap, mahirap siyang gawin. Um, tapos yun, um, so si Sheila Papad, sabi niya, yung mga false shelter na yun, and sa example na binibigay ni Queen Kunti, let us not uh, dwell on those things. Those are not really important. It doesn't answer 
it doesn't solve the real problems in life which is number one is forgetfulness of Krishna <laughs> and then this re repetition of birth and death so in summary parang yun yung tinatry natin i-focus pag-aralan dito sa chapter na to that wonderful prayer of Queen Kunti that especially in in calamities in life I I remember you and let them come so I can always remember you tapos Parang ano eh, kanina yung nakikinig ko si Shail Papad, nagbigay lang siya na example na how people try to parang gumawa ng mga paraan para maging masaya sa buhay. <laughs> May binigay siya example eh, na, and then eventually parang nag end up din naman in frustration. Parang binigay niya example na yung at that time yung Titanic. <laughs> na alam mo yun, na binuo yun kasi it's supposed to be the world's biggest you know, uh, ship. And supposedly very advanced at that time, wala yung mga magagandang features, comfortable features. And supposedly, ano nga eh, parang unsinkable nga daw eh. Titanic eh, laki eh. Pero what happened was, you know, alam, alam, alam naman natin lahat yung nangyari na despite of all of that attempts and promises, ayan, uh, lumubog pa rin yung Titanic. <laughs> and sabi niya, so many important persons are there na may mga magandang bodily features and mga mayayaman and may mga positions about they 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 died they drowned <laughs> so parang ganun din na yung position natin dito sa material well, let us not ano be allured with these so called offerings ng material world kasi nga parang ganun nga once na nasa sika daw uh, you should always think na danger will ang laki laki ng dagat liit lang yung ship na yun kayang kayang kainin ng dagat so parang ganun din yung position natin na Once na nasa material world tayo, dapat lagi natin isipin, dangers will always be there. Ang business daw natin, sabi siya ng papad, is to get out of that you know, ocean and somehow makapunta tayo sa land. Para then again, wala na tayo sa dangers ng mga waves na yun. Na pwedeng-pwede tayong ano, ma- mamatay. <laughs> and parang ano eh, um, ano nga yung sasabihin ko na, yun yung real business ng yun yung real business ng human being is to get out of this ano to this um, miserable uh, condition miserable position in life kasi there are false there are false offerings there are false shelters so l- let us not only Krishna is our, our real shelter real friend and real savior <laughs> so yun Thank you very much. Such a wonderful discussion this morning. And yes, there will be um, struggles, but behind it, there's a blessing. Last one. And, um, na- oh, sure. <laughs> Ay, mabilis lang. Kasi yung touchstone na, na tinapon sa river, may nakapulot ulit nun eh. <laughs> nakapulot nun, yung king. So, itong king na to is very greedy. So, sabi nga, lahat mm. daw nung touch, may touch niya is, uh, ano, actually, hindi lang metal eh, basta may touch niya eh. So, tinouch na sa buong palas. Even up to the point na even tinouch niya dun sa, sa wife niya, sa queen. So, naging gold din. Tapos, in the end, lahat na ng buong ano, lahat na ng buong palas is uh, gold na. So, gusto niya maging mayaman. Hanggang wala na siyang makain kasi lahat gold na. So, hindi siya, hindi siya yung goal of life na maging ma, lahat mag, mag-acquire ng wealth and all. So, yun. Uh, Doon natin malalaman pagka uh, pag nasubukan na natin pero wala rin pala. In, in, kumbaga, Happiness is not a destination. So, it's a way of life. And happiness in the consciousness is still we can be happy in this material world and into the next if we try to become Krishna conscious. Jai, thank you very much. And kita kita tayo today, 11 o'clock with Ashu. Of course, those who are in the fourth batch. For those who want to join the fourth batch, it will be 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Same room, same password. And in the evening, we will have gems, the most important verses in the Srimad Bhagavad Gita by Maturunat Prabhu. And maganda yun, magandang discussion yun. Grand Torah, Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai. 
Shiller Prabhupada Ki Jai, prayers of Queen Kunti Ki Jai. Tuloy-tuloy yung prayers natin in um, many sessions. So, kita-kita kita tayo bukas for the um, another session ng Srimad Bhagavatam Study, our podcast. Maraming maraming salamat. Good morning. Later.